my friend the white rabbit and we were just enjoying a story time together on this delicious September day. Would you like to join us for one more story? <laughs> the white rabbit is most certain that you must. So, rabbit, you sit right here and I will get the book that we're all going to share together today. It's called Little Blue. It's by Gay Chapman, and I love this story so much because, well, Little Blue loves Blue just like I do, and she gets lost from home. And as you know, that resonates with me very, very much. So let's see if Little Blue finds her way back. Little Blue was lost. She had waited long and called aloud. She wanted to go home, but no one came to find her. Then, at long last, a boy came walking through the forest. Clink, went his stick. He had struck the shoe of a little blue girl. Who are you? he asked. I am little blue, and I can't find my way home. I am Will, said the boy. What does your home look like? My home has steps to the mountains and a wooden bridge. I miss my mountains, said Little Blue. My home has a path to the hills and the tall rocks, almost like your home, said Will. They climbed the hills and gazed from rocks, but they could not find the girl's way home. under willows. I miss my river, said Little Blue. Well, my home has a stream bubbling over reeds, almost like your home, said Will. They rustled among the reeds and stared underwater, but they could not find the girl's way home. My home has blue trees, said Little Blue like balls of sky. I really miss my apples. My home has green trees and blossoms like clouds, almost like your home, said Will. They climbed a tree and peered from the branches, but they could not find the girl's way home. My home has a garden and a castle. I really miss my castle. Oh, hello, Dinah. <laughs> See little Blue, she's so sad. My home has an orchard and a cozy cottage, almost like your home, said Will. They picked the plums and looked under the leaves, but they could not find the girl's way home. Will she ever get there, Dinah? My home has father and bluebirds. Oh, I really, really miss father, said Little Blue. My home has grandmother and hens, said Will, almost like your home. They hunted under the hens and clambered over the gate. We have searched and searched, said Little Blue. I will never find my way home. You can come home with me, said Will. Dinah likes stories too. Don't you, Dinah? Will held Little Blue in his hand and they went into the cottage together. Will, cried Grandmother, you found the little blue girl. And there on the dresser was a blue and white china plate. There was a chip missing. She broke off, said Grandmother, at a picnic long ago. You see that? Grandmother glued little blue back into the china plate. 
She's home, said Will. Safe and sound, said Grandmother, and made them both some tea. <laughs> I just love that story. I highly recommend adding it to your home library if you can. It is so delightful to read again and again. Did you like that story, White Rabbit? Oh, you did? I'm just so delighted to hear that. Well, I do believe it's nearly time for tea, so we must be going, but we wish you the very best of the remaining days of summer, and we look forward with you to a whole new magical season close ahead. Until then, ta-ta for now.